Welcome to the Bibles for America podcast. The title of today's podcast is No Longer Enemies. Have you ever thought, why do I experience so much unrest? Why do I feel as if I'm not at peace with myself? Although you try different ways to find a solution, the inner peace you yearn for seems unattainable. We've all felt this disquiet within, regardless of our background, education, or social status. Why is that? The source of this feeling is rooted in a fundamental problem. We're not at peace with God. And when we're not at peace with God, it's impossible for us to be at peace with ourselves. The disharmony between us and God is the result of sin, Satan, God's enemy, deceived and poisoned mankind with his evil nature of sin. And although God is truly loving, he's also righteous and holy. He can't simply ignore sin. We may think, I'm not such a bad person, but can any of us claim we've never had a sinful thought, spoken a lie, or done anything we felt guilty about? This is evidence that sin affects every one of us and makes us contrary to God. And in opposition to God, we reject Him, profane Him, and even dare to say, there is no God. Sin estranges us from God to such an extent that we become enemies of God. Perhaps we think that by doing good deeds we can offset our sins, but that's impossible. The poison of sin automatically causes all our thoughts, words, and actions to be something against God. The Bible tells us plainly, there is none righteous, not even one. Our being is fundamentally in conflict with God. For us to be reconciled to God and have peace, the conflict must be resolved. The enormous problem of sin must be removed. Yet we're helpless to bring this about. So God himself did something. Although we were his enemies, even hating him, God never ceased to love us. Out of his immense love for us, God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all mankind. The Bible says God commends his own love to us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus shed his blood for us so our sins could be forgiven. His death fully resolves the conflict between us and God. If we accept Jesus as our Savior, the Bible tells us that we enemies are reconciled to God through the death of his Son. Our sins are forgiven. God welcomes us gladly, and in place of turmoil, our heart is filled with deep peace and the love of God. Are you at peace with God? You no longer have to be his enemy. God loves you and longs for you to be reconciled to him. Jesus died for you to make this possible. This is an accomplished fact, but for it to be your personal reality, you must accept what he did for you. Simply repent that is, turn your heart to God, confess your sin to Him, and accept the Lord Jesus as your Savior by praying, Lord Jesus, I repent. I confess I'm a sinner and I've been your enemy. Forgive me of my sins. Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me and dying on the cross for me. I receive you as my Savior right now. Thank you for reconciling me to God and bringing me peace with God. Amen. To listen to more podcasts, visit biblesforamerica.org and click on the Media tab, or subscribe to the Bibles for America podcast on iTunes. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, grace be with you.